Destiny 2 is many things, but low on weapons is definitely not one of them. Even with a good chunk of content still being vaulted, players do have a variety of options when it comes to shooting things. We all know which weapons are most effective against PV trash and bosses, and which ones are best used to take down guardians in the crucible, but we won't go wrong if we say that there's still plenty of unique exotics that are sitting on the back shelves of your inventories, abandoned and long forgotten. We know you have them there, and it's time to dust them off. Here in this video, we'll guide you through your collection's treasures that you certainly need to come back to. So tune in and enjoy! Howdy Guardians, LF Carry here, and today we're going to tell you about 4 underrated Destiny 2 exotics that are not particularly top of the line in the current season but have great potential and can serve you well in tough encounters. Some of them are pretty cool but not quite popular due to them taking the exotic slot, and others are just simply forgotten. With all the recent news about Season 14 meta, now is the best time to dig up some oldies to look at them in a different light. Let's dive deeper into the backs of your inventories and drag out some uncut gems, shall we? The first on our list is the Borealis Sniper Rifle, and we bet that most of you guys have completely forgotten about it. Well, you shouldn't have. Borealis can change its elemental damage on the fly and does so quickly. The annoyingly broken swamp between Solar Void and Arc damage was fixed at the beginning of the season, which turned the sniper into a much more playable option than it used to be. Now you don't have to wait for the lengthy mag reload animation to end. Your Guardian shifts to another elemental type almost instantly, which is crucial on the battlefield, as sometimes mere seconds are what separates you from a glorious victory or a complete defeat. The Ionic Return perk on this exotic not only gives you one bullet back to your mag when you break an enemy shield, but also grants you a 40% damage buff for all other shots left in that mag. Pretty impressive, huh? Add this season's anti-barrier sniper artifact mod and here it is. Our Borealis is perfect for high level activities. Nightfall the Ordeal, Master Hunts, and Master Lost Sectors. Especially when running solo or when certain modifiers are active and you need to fit as much damage types in one build as you can. Borealis is available to every player and does not require you to own Beyond Light or any other expansion. It drops randomly from different activities or might as well be purchased from Xur when he has one on sale. The second title that deserves our closest attention is the Huckleberry. This is a kinetic SMG from the incredible Tex Mechanica. Stylish looks and gorgeous reload animation aren't the only things that will make you fall in love with this gun. The Ride the Bull perk buffs your rate of fire a ton and every kill reloads almost half your mag or even all of it if you have the catalyst. This SMG also has the Rampage perk equipped, and this one comes with a trick. A couple of seasons ago, Bungie rolled out big nerfs for damage perks for the sake of balance, and Rampage, as the best of its kind, was nerfed by half, from 66% on 3 stacks to 33. Lots of loadouts suffered a great deal, and now this 33% remains the top Rampage damage and all the weapon having it to date, but not on the Huckleberry. This SMG still has the pre-nerfed Rampage that gives it a 66% damage buff when the perk stacks 3 times. With almost no need to reload and this absolutely massive damage boost, the Huckleberry is great for clearing out trash or fighting more powerful enemies. It's perfect for slicing through waves of enemies in Battlegrounds or Gambit. But here it's all up to you to decide on how to use your exotic slot. The Huck, just like Borealis, can drop from Xur's exotic engrams, or just come as a random post-match reward. Next up we have Sunshot, the only 150 RPM hand cannon in the game. Sunshot is an absolute beast in PvE and one of the best Destiny 2 weapons for clearing ads, mainly thanks to its mind-blowing sunburn and sunblast perks, which make your enemies explode, unleashing tons of deadly solar energy all around. You don't have to get precision kills or anything like that, just kill the target and might as well trigger chain reaction from one enemy to another that can last surprisingly long until it basically wipes out everything in the room. The Unstoppable HC mod makes it a very solid choice against champions in high tier activities. If you like Warmind Cell builds, then pair your Sunshot up with the Wrath of Rasputin and Global Reach mods and you'll get an absolutely smashing top shelf combo that will scorch down every living thing in its way. To get Sunshot, you'll need to guess what, yes? Yet again, keep your fingers crossed for those random drops or just hunt it down at Xurs. Last but not least on our list of your collection's unsung heroes is Bad Juju. This pulse rifle was introduced a long time ago with the husk of some really interesting perks along with it, but for some reason didn't gain either Guardian's love or their trust. It was just left abandoned in the bottoms of inventories until it got vaulted but now is a great time to take it back and dust it off. In fact, there's one perk that does pretty much everything you can possibly want from a weapon. The String of Curses and Trins and grants your mag refills, damage buff and super energy when you land kills, and all that while your pulse rifle is firing full auto. The buff can stack 5 times and actually boost your damage output up to 100%. Once again, grab the Unstoppable Pulse Rifle, mod it, and rock it in hardcore activities. But it can't all be that good, can it? 
There's gotta be a catch, right? Well, technically there is. The bad juju's base damage is rather small, making it viable only for clearing trash and replenishing your ult to use it against bulkier enemies. However, this exotic is still definitely worth your attention, so you should test it out in seasonal activities to see if it works for you or not. Unlike the three aforementioned exotics, bad juju can be purchased right from the exotic kiosk for one exotic cipher, 125k glimmer, 200 microphasic data lattice, and one ascendant shard. Well, here's your top four of underrated and unfairly forgotten weapons that we felt the need to remind you of. These four are barely made now, but as you can see, it's too early for them to be scrapped and put at the bottom of your guardian's garbage bin. They can still be useful, and it's time for you to give them a go. With most of the list being random drops, it might be quite a cumbersome task to grind them all out, but with the help of LF Carry, you don't need to spend a second of your time on the things you don't enjoy. The easiest way to get exotics and other items in the game is to let our pro players handle the matter. They're all seasoned guardians and experienced veteran players who know the game inside and out, which makes them a perfect fit to help you with anything you find too difficult or too time consuming to deal with on your own. Just follow the link attached in the description, place your order on our website, and be ready to rock with your new exotics and gear. That said, it's time to wrap it up guys so we hope you enjoyed this short trip to the depths of your weapon collection now we'll give these unrightfully forgotten goodies another chance to shine if you did like this video please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more destiny 2 guides news and overviews thank you all for watching and see you in the next one